Whether you're moving to Edmonton or already living in Edmonton, getting to downtown can often be frustrating, tricky, and slow. In this video, I'm gonna help you navigate your way to downtown to take out the guesswork and hopefully relieve some of that frustration. Okay, so getting right into it. Unless you're coming to downtown from the west or the north, you will need to cross the North Saskatchewan River, which means taking a bridge, and we all know that bridges can bottleneck things. Not to mention, some bridges in Edmonton are tricky, and there is some need to know things about them. After all, you don't want to be that guy on the news who got stuck or caught going the wrong way on a one-way. So before we get into the quirks of accessing downtown Edmonton, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on new videos I post weekly. Okay, so we're gonna start in the west. So people coming into downtown from the west will likely take Stony Plain Road. Well, that road turns into two roads. It splits off into 102nd Ave and 104th Ave. Which road is better? Well, that depends on where you wanna go. I would recommend 102 Ave if you have to access south downtown, the river valley, the ledge grounds, places like that. But the trick with 102 Ave is that it stops at 111th Street, it's blocked off. So if you don't need to go farther than 111th Street, you're good to stay on that road. Otherwise, I would take a right at 124th Street where it turns into Jasper Ave and you continue going east on that road. Watch my video on getting around while you're in downtown for further tips on how to navigate downtown once you're here. So the other option, 104th Ave, this is a great option if you have to access the core or north side of downtown, places like Rogers Place, Grant McEwen, the Arts District, things like that. Okay, so moving north. The most popular roads in the north that will bring you into downtown are 109th Street, 101st Street, and 97th Street. 109th Street is more on the west side of downtown. It's actually right in between the downtown core and the community of Oliver. And it's the main road if you're coming from places like Kingsway Mall. 101st Street is just one block east of Rogers Place. And it's the main road from places like Nate and the Royal Alec, which is what us Edmontonians refer to the Royal Alexandra Hospital. And lastly, 97th Street, that is the main road from the far north of Edmonton to get you right into downtown. This road crosses the Yellowhead and goes as far as the Anthony Hende, which is Edmonton's ring road. 97th Street is pretty fast moving. It's got a lot of lanes, except once you hit 118th Ave, you go into some residential and then Chinatown and things kind of slow down there. Okay, moving on to the east, accessing downtown from East Edmonton. This is also the common route for people coming from Sherwood Park. Coming from the east, you'll have to cross the North Saskatchewan River, but you have two bridge options. There's the Dawson Bridge, and this is a little bit of a hidden gem. And it's a great option for those of you that need to access the north side of the downtown core. Alternatively, you would use the James McDonald Bridge. This is probably the most popular route to get into downtown from the east, and it's also the route that the commuter bus from Sherwood Park takes. This route is great for accessing the River Valley Road, the ledge ground, and things that are generally south of Jasper Ave. Okay, now moving on to the south. Accessing downtown from the south. This is where it gets a little tricky with the bridges. So pay close attention. Okay, we're gonna start with the easy one first, the low level bridge. This is an easy one because it's two way traffic. This bridge is more commonly used for people from the southeast side um, coming down 99th Street or taking Connors Road from like the Bonnie Dune area. Now where things get tricky is at the Walter Dale Bridge. This is also a common bridge for people coming from the south. So people traveling on Saskatchewan Drive, Gateway Boulevard, and 109th Street will go down a hill and all merge onto this bridge to get into downtown. This bridge is one way into downtown and is probably the most congested bridge in the morning rush hour. And detouring to miss this bridge isn't really that convenient, so I think that's why most people still take it. It is really your fastest route into downtown from the south. Now getting out of downtown, you're going to need to take the high level bridge, which 
is on 109th Street. This is also a one-way bridge going south. This bridge also has a height restriction. The ETS bus travels across this bridge, so if your vehicle is smaller than an Edmonton Transit bus, you will be fine with the height. A side note about the high-level bridge, it has a streetcar that runs over top. It, it's operated by volunteers and it takes you from downtown into Old Strathcona. It's really inexpensive and super cool. I recommend you try that. So if you're traveling in from the Southwest and you don't want to take the Walter Vale Bridge, it is. Hey guys, I'm sorry to interrupt this great flow that I had going with that video, but I was editing it and I forgot a bridge. Up. Yeah, it's an important bridge. So for people living on the Southwest, they don't always take the Walter Dale Bridge. There is another bridge. It's called the Groat Road Bridge. And that's great for people that are near the university or maybe coming from Terwilliger or Southgate. And if you have to access the west side of downtown, why bother going right into the thick of things? Take the Groat Road Bridge. This bridge also gives you great access to River Valley Road, so it is actually a pretty good bypass if you don't want to go on the Walterdale Bridge and you're from the southwest. There's really no tricks with this bridge. It is two-way traffic. Okay, well, I'll let you get back to the rest of the video. So if you're traveling in from the southwest and you don't want to take the Walterdale Bridge, it is pretty convenient to also take the Quinnell Bridge. Now, the Quinnell Bridge won't get you into downtown directly, but you could take the 149th Street exit, which will connect you with Stony Plain Road. And as I mentioned before, Stony Plain Road takes you right into downtown, either, either on 102nd Ave or on 104th Ave. Well, I hope this video provided you with a clearer picture on how to access downtown and what your different options are from the different sides of the city. If you have any questions, please reach out to me by commenting below or by my contact information in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.